I'd like to share one thing. Uh, recently, the last week and uh, last Lord's Day and the Lord's Day before that, the breakaway side, unlike before, has been very openly and vehemently attempting to disrupt the worship of the saints of Pyongyang Church. And on Lord's Day, after third service on Easter Sunday, one of our young adults was leaving church, but the breakaway side blocked her and pushed her, and she had to be taken away in an ambulance. Now, the problem with the recent actions is fundamentally different from before. First is that their protests lasted for a very long time, starting from 6 a.m. until 4 p.m. And secondly, it's not a rally under the pretext of attending worship, but rather they are illegal acts of preventing the entry and exit of our church members. And thirdly, they did not keep the greatest feast of Christianity, which was Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, but instead they engaged in illegal activities in front of the church. And lastly, they disrupted the communion of many saints in our church. There are two means of grace in Christianity. They are the word and sacraments. And sacraments consist of baptism and communion. The saints, uh, this was a, uh, this is a means that's been designated by God. And the saints spend Passion Week with repentance. And as a symbol of the forgiveness of sins, the saints desired to unite with the Lord through the partaking of bread and wine during the communion, but they obstructed this path of blessing. And our pastors asked how many people were unable to attend the communion, and including the young adults, about 400 failed to attend because of the breakaway side. This is an anti-Christian act, and if anybody ordered this, it must have been a minister. And this is something, uh, this is an illegal action that must never be tolerated. Then why did this start? Why are they doing this? From what I heard, some of our saints uh, went to their gathering and they were pressured by that and to prevent them from coming for the sake of their own gathering, they obstructed the worship of the church and hindered the and violated the rights of our saints. It was not just a dozen people, but about 200 people from the breakaway side came and blocked us from leaving the church. Why? So that nobody can go to their assembly, their gathering place. If anybody ordered such thing, he will not he will have to take responsibility for his actions. Currently, the saints of Pyongyang, because of these actions of the breakaway side and also at those who manipulate them in the back, our saints are enraged. And the saints are determined to protect the church without backing down, no matter what hindrance they face. And the same goes for the senior church staff, including myself and all the ministers as well. We ask our saints for your understanding regarding the significance of the confrontation at the church gate. You might just think, oh, we cannot leave the church, but actually this is like the peak that has never happened before. We need to understand this matter and in order to uh, overcome this, we need your cooperation and your prayers. And one more thing to mention is that many people uh, prepared and tried to participate in the communion during third service on Easter Sunday. But many people, including the young adults, hundreds of saints could not attend the communion due to the sudden interference by the breakaway side. And some may despair and some may take, uh, ask 
the ministers of our church to take responsibility. You might blame them. Uh, we sincerely apologize. Regarding this, the church is planning to uh, the communion needs preparation. It's not something we can just do next week. We spent Lent and Passion Week to have this communion. So during the next feast, our next feast, um, which is the beginning of uh, a new, it's a new beginning, it's the Feast of Harvest, and we are planning to have another communion at that time. And this will be discussed and decided through the operating committee. And since the Feast of Harvest is in early ja July, we have three months to prepare. So the saints who were unable to participate in the communion this time, we ask that you will prepare your faith well until then. And by doing so, I hope you will receive greater grace and blessings at the next communion. And just because you participate in the last communion doesn't mean you don't have to participate in the next communion. We only have baptism uh, once, but many other churches, they hold communions almost every month. So we will have this one more time. If you are unable to attend, we ask that you will uh, attend for this upcoming communion. Uh, prepare your faith. And through the communion, May we once again be assured of the grace of God and be armed once again. I will conclude my announcements. Thank you.